Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the week of February 15th through the 21st. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you, meaning this reading may not be for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. We're going to do this one a little bit differently. We're going to be you doing you and the other person. Um, somebody that is very predominantly in your energy. It may not be who you think it is. It could be somebody completely different that you, uh, you know, you're ignoring this person or something like that. You may think you may be thinking about somebody else, but deep down this other person you're thinking about, you know, that kind of thing. Anyhow, um, let's see what comes up for Leo. What do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do we have for Leo for the week of February 15th through the 21st? What do we have for Leo? The Fool. Now the Fool is starting a new journey. This is exciting. So this is an exciting moment. Stepping into new territory, a new chapter is beginning for you. I mean, that's what the fool is. It's a new beginning. So you have a new beginning here, a new beginning. Leaving something behind, starting from scratch. This is a fresh start. This is freedom, freedom from a situation. You're free, you're free, you're free. Ah, Five of Cups reverse. This is on the path to recovery, realizing that there's another opportunity. There's been some prolonged grief, but you're leaving it behind. You're leaving something behind that you have been grieving over. The grief is coming to an end, beginning to realize that there's a new opportunity. So there is a new opportunity here. You have a new beginning. You do. What about somebody that you're dealing with? Who are you dealing with? Ah. We got quite a few cards. We're going to have to take them all. Ooh, who uh, got these? Somebody else got these. I can't remember. It, I'm not sure if it was a Pisces. I'm not sure who it was, but another sign got these cards. Aries, Aries. Maybe you're dealing, you may be dealing with an Aries. I'm not sure. You could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. But anyhow, um, this is a permanent loss of some sort. So who are, it is, there's some sort of extreme, extremely bad behavior here. Could be dealing with Capricorn as well. This is somebody that is very, very, very extremely unstable, very, very controlling, angry. There's anger here. Somebody is extremely upset. They are feeling unbalanced. They're feeling um, out of control. This is out of control energy. Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be a huge argument this week with somebody. It could be a father figure, could be a boss. It's definitely a masculine energy. There's probably going to be a huge disruption. We have somebody here that is, it's, it could be a shock. You could be dealing with somebody that loses their temper, loses control. You know, they may be institutionalized. I mean, I hate to say that, but that's what I see. We have somebody here that is... I don't know, maybe they're even doing something against the law. Um, this is this is a very angry individual. So you're dealing with somebody who is angry and they're they're feeling uh, disruptive. This is disruptive behavior. So you're de and it's funny how all these cards came flying out, you know. Um, it does have to do with the law. Oh, it really has to do with the law. You may have something to do with a Capricorn, it could be a Libra. Could be a Scorpio, could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel like there's a decision that is being made. There's been some, some whoever you're dealing with may have broken the law or they may be breaking the law. They are making a poor judgment call. Somebody's making a poor judgment call. They are very unbalanced. Um, somebody is extremely unbalanced and they're not going to be given another chance. Somebody could be ending up in jail. I'm not sure who it is or, 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 or worse. Uh, let me just zoom that in. Whoever you're dealing with, you're going to be broken free from. 
you are, you're going to be broken free from. This is freedom. This is a disaster, some sort of disaster, disastrous situation. And I feel like there is a person that is in a position of authority that is going to be making some sort of decision based on the facts, based on the truth. There's definitely been some lies. Somebody's been lying. They haven't been telling the truth. And that's all going to come out this week. That is absolutely going to come out. It is going to come out. Um, we have somebody here that is obviously angry. They're angry over, over not getting control, not having the control that they're used to having. Um, and they're making a poor judgment call. They are, and there's bad karma here, to du double karma, okay? Double karma. So somebody is, this is, this is definitely bad. Whoever you're dealing with, you're dealing with somebody that um, is very, 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 un, extremely unstable. And they're angry and they are upset. And they want to hold on to something. This is somebody that wants to hold on to something. They refuse to let go. And I feel like they are hot. I feel like they're hot. I feel like they're angry. And I feel like they, um, it's not going to turn out in their favor. Something It feels like the law is getting involved. It's interesting. Because these are both the law, you know. Something not going in this person's favor, which is going to cause a lot of upheaval and chaos. And somehow it's going to affect you. It is going, it, it may, there's consequences here. There's con and it's double consequences. Could be for two people that are going to be getting some consequences. Um, definitely has to do with a very masculine energy who wants to be in control. This person doesn't accept responsibility. They um, do, this is not accepting responsibility. And they're refusing to be held accountable for their actions. They don't want to be held accountable for their actions. I feel like this person is going to do something um, that is very, uh, I think it's against the law. I think it's against the law. And I feel like the law, is, it's, like, it's like that song, when I fight authority, authority always wins. So I think there's, there could be a, a fight with the law. Anyhow, um, whoever you're dealing with is, is, has got some sort of idea. They've got some sort of plan by the looks of things. And I feel like they're going to act on their plan out of anger. And they're going to, uh, I don't know, it looks like they're going to, uh, justice is going to be called. The, the cops, maybe the cops or the police or something like that. It's definitely, there's going to be an uproar. It is definitely, there's going to be an uproar. Um, poor judgment call. Somebody's made a bad choice. And whoever this person is may have received some poor advice. They may have received some poor counsel, you know, and maybe that's where you come in. Hopefully you didn't give them poor counsel because that's how karma works. You know, when you give somebody bad, bad counsel based on anger, you know, the karma will hit you as well. So, uh, hopefully you didn't. Anyhow, uh, karma is a bitch. Okay. So there is some sort of karma here. Um, there's been a lot of lies. There's been a lot of lies. Somebody hasn't acted with integrity and now karma is here. Karma is absolutely here. So for whoever it is that you're dealing with, we have somebody here that has been pretending something. They've been pretending they were stable. They were pretending that, you know, everything was okay when everything wasn't okay. And they've been refusing to accept responsibility and now they're going to be held accountable. There is somebody here that is very direct, very intelligent, very, very sharp, that is going to be probably making a judgment call in regards to this person. Um, so what do, we, what do we have for you? What do we have for Leo? One card for Leo, please. You're going to be starting from, for the clean slate, leaving something behind. You've been dealing with somebody that isn't very awakened does things that are against the law. Okay, and for the other person, some sort of truth is going to come out. Okay. This is the truth coming out after there's been a lot of lies. There's been some lack of integrity. Rainbow. 
the most difficult part of a situation is over. So yeah, there's some stormy weather that is a brewing. But by the end of the week, it's going to be over, okay? And it may be sad. This could be extremely sad. When you get a card in reverse, it could be extremes, okay? But this breaks you free from a situation where there's been already been some grieving. So for this person, ooh, fly, a period of ill health, depression. So uh, I'm not sure what is going on, but we have somebody here that is... Uh, not very balanced. This person is not balanced. They're dishonest. This person is extremely controlling. They're angry and they're upset and they're going to do something that may shock you. Okay? So this person is depressed and they're not healthy at all. And there is some, I feel like there's some sort of protection here. Maybe it's protection. Uh, somebody in the law is going to be stepping in. It's interesting, when I fight authority, authority always wins. So there's somebody that is, I feel like the authorities are stepping in to whoever this person is. This person has been pretending that they're stable. They've been pretending that they were, they're secure and they've been hiding the truth. They've been lying. You know, the devil was ruled by the shadow, but when the devil is reversed, like the shadow is going away. It's going to be seen. It's going to be shown. Some, some sort of truth is going to be shown about somebody who hasn't been telling the truth. This is somebody that is uh, very, very manipulative, that uh, doesn't really accept responsibility, doesn't like to be held accountable. So anyway, whoever you're dealing with is about to get some karma. Let's go back over here to your side. You're free. You're free. This is all going to come to an end. Ah, Four of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups is discontentment, missed opportunity, focusing on a loss. You may be focusing on this loss this week, not realizing, you know, maybe you need to love yourself. This is a card of self because the fool starts a journey by themselves, you know, doesn't, you know, uh, take the experience with them. So I think there's going to be some sort of sadness over whatever this loss is. But you're going to be receiving something. This is give and take. It's, it's generosity. It's getting what you deserve. You are headed towards reciprocation. You are headed towards equality. You're going to be receiving something. You may not see it. You may not know it. Everything happens for a reason. You are definitely, you're headed right towards reciprocation or receiving something that you deserve. You're going to be getting something that you deserve. You may be, you may be worried about it, but I don't think you should be worried. You need to have faith and trust. Okay. Oh, I got one that fell out. Five of Pentacles reversed. Now, um, I don't know. I feel like there's a turning point. I feel like there's a turning point. I feel like you have been abandoned or ghosted or neglected or you may have been a victim of a circumstance. Nobody may have uh, been helping you or something like that, but you're about to receive something. Hmm. Knight of Pentacles reversed. There's lack of responsibility here. Um, I feel like you're going to receive something from somebody that I think is this person. You definitely have somebody here that isn't stable. Not going anywhere. Somebody's not going anywhere with that Knight of Pentacles. It's, they're not going anywhere. It feels like somebody's been trying to hurt you or something like that. And I feel like you've been worried about it. You're going to get exactly what you deserve. You've been in a difficult situation where there's been some sort of neglect or there's been abandonment or there's been hostilities or something like that with whoever this person is. This person is a narcissist. This person is definitely a narcissist. They're, they, they break the law to get their way. This is somebody that will do anything to get their way. They lie. This could be a pathological liar. This is a permanent loss. With the tower reversed. It is extremes. Extremely unbalanced. There could be an outburst. Whoever this person is. And I feel like whatever this is. This this will this will 
stop it because this is stop it stops it from happening somebody's going to be stopped right in their tracks and now you're free you're free you're free you're free nine of cups wish fulfillment abundance you're going to be you you are headed towards abundance you're going to be receiving something that you asked for you may be very worried about it because the four of cups is underneath it you may be worried about it you you may have been worried about it for quite some time you're definitely going to be receiving something balance is one of the things that you're going to be receiving you're going to be receiving balance you You've earned it. You you don't have to worry anymore, whatever it is. You don't your worries are over. Oh my god, we got five five fives waiting for one more five. Five five five. So five 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 is major life changes. Divinely guided major life changes. I knew that you had been in a hostile situation. This is a fight of some sort. This person may be picking a fight with you. You know, this is somebody that uh, doesn't care who they hurt as long as they win. So I feel like you, I feel like uh, you're going to be dealing with some sort of person that wants to win at all costs, and they may be picking a fight with you. And I feel I feel like this person is. It's all going to come to an end this week in some way. Five 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 is conflict. It's conflict. It is, but it leads to positive change. Okay, this needs to happen, and it also leads to permanent freedom. So, and expect the unexpected this week, 555, five, five. expect the unexpected, Leo. There could be an unexpected arrival that you don't see coming. So, if I was you, I would be aware. I would be aware. You may not be aware. This person may catch you off guard. Um, oh, interesting. I just looked on the bottom just now. After I said that, there could be an unexpected arrival. Okay, you may not, and if this, now I'm changing it to love. For some of you, you may not be looking for love, or you may not be looking for, you know, any, you, know, or you think you're not going to get any emotional support. You're either an, an arrival of love or emotional support is coming your way. Okay, and you, I feel like you are going to be walking away from somebody that really, really belittled you. They hurt you. They had a big ego. Uh, they led you down the way a wrong path, and you may have been a victim to this situation for quite some time, but I think it's time for you to stop grieving and start a new chapter. So yeah, I think this is the end of a difficult situation. I feel like you are about to start a new a new journey. Uh, whoever it is that has been um, causing you all this uh, imbalance. I feel like they're going away. I feel like I feel like justice is is coming in for them, you know, or their justice is going to take care of them, whoever this person is. Um, somebody's definitely made a very poor choice, and and they are, and I feel like they're going to be held accountable. They're going to be held accountable for it, whoever it is that you're dealing with. This person has been able to avoid getting caught. They, they have, but they're not going to be able to avoid it anymore. And I feel like it's because they're angry. They're extremely angry. I see a lot of anger over on this side. So I feel like there's going to be a call that is made in regards to whoever this person is. This person is not healthy. They are. Um, and I do feel as though you are going to be leaving this person behind. You're free. This is apt. 555 is personal freedom. And the Fool card is freedom as well. This difficult situation is definitely coming to an end. And you're going to be receiving exactly what you asked for. Okay? Walking away is the best thing that could possibly have happened. Okay? Whether this person is being taken away or you're walking away or they're walking away, it is absolutely the best thing that has happened because you don't need to be a victim to this circumstance. You don't deserve to be neglected. You don't deserve to be belittled. You don't deserve to uh, be a, you know, there's belittlement, there's abandonment there. It, this is belittlement. This is abandonment. You don't deserve to always have to prove yourself. Now, now the Five of Swords is somebody that wants to prove themselves constantly, you know, and prove that they're right. Who wants to deal with that? Nobody. It's, who gives a shit who's right? It's all about happiness. So anyway, I think that you're not going to have to, you're, the, this fight that you have been involved with is absolutely coming to an end. Okay, and there is going to be some sort of a support 
or new offer or something that is coming into your life. This is somebody who has a lot of uh, empathy. This is somebody that is intuitive. This is somebody that is gentle and kind that is going to be supporting you this week. Um, so yeah, there's going to be an arrival of some sort um, or there's going to be some good news you definitely have somebody that is very intuitive, that is around you, that is going to be helping you. I think you're going to be receiving some help with the Five of Pentacles reversed. Um, either way, and, 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 and there's been a lack of it. But I do see you going in a new direction and leaving behind a situation where there's been a lot of tears, probably. There's been a lot of grieving. Uh, there's been a lot of heartache. I think that you're, you're gonna, you're realizing, or you're being, or you're seeing that there's a new avenue, and it's, it's very clear that there's a new avenue. So anyway, Leo, I feel like uh, whoever this person is over here it feels like uh, they're about to be judged. Okay, they're getting some sort of karma or consequences for their. Um, poor decisions that they have made. Good luck.